Hello everyone, welcome to Vishwa Blooms. So in this video, we will be looking at Maths Techno Class 8, the second name of search that is Laws of Radicals. So let's begin with the introduction part. So in Laws of Radicals, we are going to learn few laws on these radicals. Right now, first law will be mth root of a and mth root of b. When these two radicals are having the same order, in the previous video I have already told you what was order. So this here whatever number is there, that is the order. Right, when these two radicals are having the same order, when those, these two sorts are having same order, these can be, when we want to multiply them, that means mth root of a into nth root of b. We can simply do that by mth root of a multiplied by b. Right, because both the orders are same. When the orders are same, you can simply multiply a and b. So this is the first law of radicals. Now moving on to the second law. Now second law, so similarly we are going to take nth root of a and nth root of b as two radicals or two sets. And same order is also there see that already i have wrote there same order that is n clear now in the previous law what we did we multiplied now in this law we are going to divide that means mth root of a divided by mth root of b now this can be even done in this way nth whole root of a by b that means you can simply divide this and then you can simply divide this and then do the rooting part. Understood? Now if you want an example, cube root of 20 divided by cube root of 5. Now what you can do is you can take the cube root as whole and 20 by 5 inside you can take. Now cube root of 25, 20 by 5 is 4. Now cube root of 4 will be remained as it is because there is no value for cube root of 4. Now you get an answer right? That's it. So that's how the uh, second law is used. Okay. Now moving on to the third law. Now if m and n are two natural numbers that means they are belonging to natural number set and there is one more positive rational number. This is positive rational number q plus right that is a then when we have a condition like when we have a question wherein nth root over nth root over a then you can simply multiply these two orders that is n and n can be multiplied that means that will be n m to root of a now when you want an example i will be giving one easy example that is 4th root of 3rd root of 5. Now what you will do? Just you will multiply 4 and 3. The orders will be multiplied. So 4 into 3 whole 3 root of 5. Right. That will be 4 times is 12. 12 root 5 is the answer. Clear. Now in this way, 3rd law will be used. Okay. Now moving on to the 4th law. 4th law, before understanding the 4th law, I will tell you one basic law first. nth root of a is equal to a to the power 1 by n. So when you have a root value here and there is some order for a, then this can be written as a to the power 1 by n. This reciprocal will be written over there. Now that is clear to you, right? This law has to be kept in mind in order to learn this, uh, this law. Now whatever law is going to be, we are going to discuss. Now this one, just keep in mind, this is not the law here actually. It's a, qu a quite bigger one. Right, so let's start. Now same thing, M and N belongs to natural number and A is a positive rational number. Now when we have a situation where nth root of, nth root of P, sorry, A to the power p whole power m. Now when you have to solve this, what you are going to do? First, 
we will solve from this part okay i will tell a power n into a power sorry a power n into i mean whole power n a power n whole power m when you are having that what you are going to do as you know it's that thing but a to the power n into m right this law is a basic law which we have been studying right so if you know this easily you can do this part here now i'll tell you that m root of m root of a to the power pn now that is clear right until this it is clear fine now just now i told one law i will write that again no worries a to the power m equal to a sorry a root m root over a is equal to a to the power 1 by m now this law just now i have told you so here you find an m and you can see the root now what i am going to do is m root over a to the power pm by m because into 1 by m will be divided by m only right so that's what it will be it is going to be like this now this is also clear to you now when m and m are there you can easily cancel them so m root over a to the power p so when this much big question is being given here m must be equal to this m this both must be equal then only you can do this now when this kind of questions are given m to root of m to root of a power a power p whole power m when this kind of questions are given you can directly use m to a uh, root of a power p directly you will use this okay this is the law laws of radicals right so that is what is the proving part which i have done on the screen now there is one more point to be noted here so let me erase the screen now this was what we discussed then right? now when any natural number say m is multiplied is multiplied for n and even p n as well as p then what it is going to be i'll show you here n into m root over a into a, a power m sorry a power p into m now this is going to be the same thing as this one okay remember this when something extra is multiplied also it is the original thing only understand now let's discuss the uses of learning the laws of radicals now by learning this what we can do we can convert one pure third into a mixed third a mixed third into a pure third and we can simplify the thirds and even we can reduce two given thirds to same form right and we can also do comparison right when the order is same only we can do the comparison works right now next topic is about the addition and subtraction of thirds now remember one point two thirds can be either subtracted or added only only if they are you know they are similar thirds when they are only similar thirds you know what are similar thirds 7 root 5 sorry 8 root 5 here whatever number is there right this must be the same rational part then only you can subtract or either multiply any two thirds so you can use the distributive law so what is the distributive law to when there are any two uh, numbers into thirds a root c plus b root c their summation will be a plus b multiplied by root c this is the distributive law we already know this law because we have been studying since our childhood now introduction part is done so we'll move on to the challenges so that we can practice multiple questions based on the topic covered so in challenges first question first bit i'm giving it as homework and second bit i'll do because the second bit seems to be a way different than the first one even this will do now in the first question we have to express each of the following as a 
pure cell. Now this is a mixed cell. You can observe it, right? There is a rational factor as well as an irrational factor. So this is a mixed cell. So let's convert this into a fused cell. Now I'll tell you how to do this. Step one: simply whatever number it's a, which is having this. Now you see the order first. Step one is check out the order. Now here what is the order? Four. Now first step is done. Yeah, we have identified the order for this. Now we are going to multiply. I mean, this thing. We are going to root up the entire entire third with that order, right? But here, ten will have that same order. You will when you are doing that, you will give the same order for it. Now I will tell you this. Now we are going to root them up, right? Entire thing is going to be rooted up. Now first will be this three, four root three as it is. I have to done. Okay, now we have to multiply ten. Whatever is there, you will write. But it is not. It is not given to us in this way. It is given to us just in normal way. Now, how do you cancel that power? I mean, when how do you cancel that square? I mean, fourth root. When you have a fourth power, the fourth power and the fourth root will get cancelled, and it will be in the original form that is ten into fourth root of three. So. Using this only, we are going to just give it a power of four. Clear. Now, fourth power of three into now ten power four is ten thousand. Clear. Now, fourth root of three into ten thousand is thirty thousand. Now you understood, right? Step three, what we have done? Place the same power. Power or the real place, and step four is simplify. Understood? So it's all very simple actually. If you want, I will just do the first one also. First bit, okay. The first one I will just tell you how to solve. You can simplify the entire thing. Now three by four into root over thirty two. Now what is the order here? I am erasing all the orders and powers here. What is the order here? Two. When nothing is there, I told you it's already two. Now entirely you are going to square root it up. Second the root of first thirty two will be there. Now same thing, same thing how we did for that no power we are going to keep for this also. Three by four whole power two because this can this and this root will get cancelled. Okay. Now we will do that. Right now, second root of thirty-two into three square is nine, four square is sixteen. Now sixteen ones, sixteen twos. Now nine twos are is eighteen. Root over eighteen is the answer. The first one also I have done. Now, since second question, they asked us to exp express it in the simplest form. When they are asking us to express the given. In simplest form, we are just going to convert into mixed cell. Understood? Now, how do we convert that and all that information? I'll explain. But first one is very simple. You can do that for this question. Second one, I will do. Do. Now, fifth root of two eighty eight. The first and foremost thing, do the prime factorization of two eighty eight. So two ones, two ones, fours. And fours, two sevens, two twos, two threes, two six, and thirteen twos. Sorry, sorry. Two ones, two eights, two nines, and three into three. Right, that is nine. Three into. Now this is the prime factorization. Now, how many twos you can see? One, two, three, four, five. Now that is nothing but two power five into how many threes you can see? Two threes. Now it is two power five into three square. Now first, what we are going to do? Just now we learned that a to the power sorry root over nth. 
Now, nth root of a power m into b power c is nothing but nth root of a power m into nth root of b power c. You can split it, right? Now, this only I am going to apply here. Okay. In this third. Now, fifth root of 2 power pi into fifth root of 3 square. Now, here, fifth square and fifth root. So, fifth power and fifth root will get cancelled. And whereas you find this as it is. Now, 2 into fifth root of 3 square. Now, what is 3 square? It is 9. 2 into fifth root of 9. That is the simplified form or it is the mixed form. Now, I am going to give a small hint for the first one of second row. There you have cubed root of 54. Now, the prime factorization of 54 you will do. Remember one thing, 27 is a prime number. Okay. So, in third and fourth questions, we will look in the next video challenges. So, until then, do like, share and subscribe to Vishma Blooms. Thanks for watching our video. Keep supporting.